What's up, guys? Welcome to the next episode of the Enerol Hunter that we shot down in Utah for this year. And you're going to be watching uh, stages three, four, and five that we shot. And again, we're breaking these down in a more uh, digestible view rather than showing all, you know, 22 stages because that would be a super long video. Um, but showing you everything that we've done. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it so far. I've got a lot of positive feedback in all the YouTube comments in the Enerol Hunter hunter prep and also um, the first episode of everything behind the scenes in the first two stages so um, enjoy the first three stages when you hit it, you yep. good <laughs> all right cheers if you would like to start approaching me as soon as you pass this pink flag your time will begin time starts now spotting stake here left left and right outer limits this is your shooting position The biggest thing you see? Uh, I saw an 18 time. I got it. Contact. Stand by for target distances. Anyway. Alright, target one. Shooting. 199. Shooting voice. Right. 199, target one. Yeah. Check. Target two. Talk me on. So from target one, scan to your three o'clock. You run into the first gopher. Target two. So go to, do you see the? Target one. Target one. Yep. Go to the three o'clock. Got it. Target two, 195. Set. From there, from target two, go to the two o'clock. Yep. 235. Got it? Yeah, it's, it's got a dead tree next to it. Yes. It's three. What's the distance? 235. Okay, so from that target, yep. go to the four o'clock, or uh, yeah, four o'clock, scan to the right. Is that in the open? What's that? In the open? Yeah, with two little uh, black circles at the base of it. Yep. Distance? 200. Dial in point four. Point four, correct. What are you thinking for wind? Straight up. Stand by. Got yeah, plenty of time. Shooters, you got four minutes remaining. I'm up. That one on. You need a scan for it. You need a scan, right? Yep. Scan right. I think your tripod might be too low, dude. Yep. Let's go. We got we got three three and a half three and a half minutes. Alright. Hard one. Straight up. Now, straight up. Next target. Same Next dope. Target. Same dope. Straight up. Maybe favorite tenth lap. Impact, next target. Target two, point six. Target three. Yep. Target three, sorry. Point, point, point six. six. Yep. Two tenths. The tenth lap. Tenth left? Yep. Impact, next target. Alright, back to point four. Point four. Two minutes forty five. We're good. Still on time. Tenth left still. We're still good on the tenth lap. Check. Just leave the try, leave everything there. And uh spotting scope. Are you? Are you? Bags out. Target one point four. Point four. You got plenty of time, dude. Drew has two minutes remaining. Why would you say that? <laughs> trying to suck us out. You're good, dude. That's plenty. And <coughs> checker cam. Checker cam's on. All right. Point four. 
the fucking T-Rex, hold straight up. Okay. That was a tenth left. Yeah, it looked a little left too. Go straight up. Uh, stand by. E favor left on that little fucking. There you go. Right, next target. Perfect. Uh, same thing on that one. How about point six? Yep, point six. It's a slight left to right mirage I'm getting, like maybe point one five. Like split the fucking difference. There you go. Next target. All right, back to favored left on this thing. Back to point four for dope. Back to point four for dope. On this, it. Up. Oh, favor left. Tenth. Stay on it. There you go. Fuck yeah. I'm talking Shoot about you guys. Thanks. Still had a minute remaining. Damn. Good work, dude. Nice job, dude. Shooters, I got you for a total of 16. Perfect. Thank you. Thanks for all in, guys. Appreciate you. Yeah, no appreciate problem. you. Zero out. Yeah, sure. For us. All right, guys, we just finished up with uh, our third stage of the day. Looking pretty good. Uh, T Rex and three gophers. About 200 to 240. The uh, gophers were pretty, pretty tiny. Uh, not really wind forgiving, but vertically forgiving. So um, Ryan was, saw a tree, decided. Because of how small targets are, use tripod rear. Uh, it was good uh, while I was looking for targets. Uh, he was sending out a position, which was awesome. It allowed us to um, you know, not have to both focus on finding targets because the targets were easy to see. So um, once we got to about three and a half minutes, realized that his tripod was a little too low, so um, got a little anxious. So I told him to kind of hurry up and uh, wrong move. Should stay calm. Calm breeds calm. So. On that we cleaned it and uh, happy with our performance. So yeah, still on the brass, doing our priorities of work and uh, getting ready for stage four. Good to go. Ram circle left to First right. First is a team. Yes, sir. Yep. Six minutes. All right. First stake, I see it up, up to the right of oh, the rocks. The rock. Is that the first position? Oh, right here. The tree. The tree. The tree's first position. All right, we're good. All right. I'm gonna go try that. All right. So first target is a sheep. Second target is a. I see a sign. Crystal. Is that your biggest thing you can see? It stands yep. out to me. 19, got it. That's target one. 319. 319, check. 1.2. Target number two is a circle. Okay. So there's a, okay, so from the, go to 19. Okay, so from 19, Go to the one o'clock, you'll see the rock base. Got it. And then to the right of that, got it. you'll I'm see up. a circle. Okay, yep. you got it? Yep, distance. 501. 501. Check. The first dope is 1.2. Yep. You said 500? Five, yeah, 501, 2.6. Okay. Plenty of time. 1.2. Trigger came on. All right, got the ram, zero wind. Hold him straight up. On scope. Impact, next okay. target. Next target, you got the circle. Let me know if you need a tripod rear. Nope, I'm okay right now. 501, 2.6. 2.6, 6, check. Maybe a tenth left. Tenth left? Yeah. Impact! Get the right position. edge. That was right edge? Yeah. Next tenth position. left on that far one. 
By the rock. Hey, yep, throw me that heavy bag. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Thank you. All right, back to two, uh, back, back to, to one. one, two. One, two, yep. I'm up, straight up. Two cents left. Two six. Two six, yes, sir. What do you want me to, what are you thinking for wind? Two six, uh, two tenths, two tenths left. Two tenths left. Take your time, you got plenty of time. I'm gonna dial that out. That was left edge? Yeah. All right. And that was two turns left. Okay. Mag is out. All right. Don't walk in front of that rifle, Dakota. Okay. You can get it. You got my tripod? Cool. I'm on your glass. All right, target one. This is an easy one, dude. You got one two on? One two's on. Hold, just hold straight up on it. Impact! Straight up. That was center. Perfect. Okay. All right, two six. You hit the left edge on this one? That's what you said. Yeah. And that was two tenths left. And I felt like I broke pretty center. Oh, so, I'm gonna do straight up. You I like it, I like it. You like it? Yeah. Easy press. There it is. Impact! Next position. Yeah, it was pretty, pretty good center. center. Yeah. Maybe a tenth, but I wouldn't fuck with it. One, two? Yes, sir. One, two. Hold straight up. I'm on it. Maybe a tenth left. There's more Mirage. Tenth left. I saw it. Yeah, good. All right. Two, six. You can rest your arm on that rock if you scoot forward. My position's pretty solid. All right, good, good. Wind. Uh, tenth left. Tenth left. Two six. Good fucking shot. Good job, dude. Way to do it. Yeah, we, we were so late, one like, deer stage twenty. Black stake is your aiming stake. Okay. Left and right limits are left right limits. All four positions are in front of left right limits. Okay. The positions unmarked stakes are next to rocks. The rocks have numbers on them. The numbers do not mean anything. Okay. You can shoot whatever order you want. Okay. Makes okay. sense. Yeah. But the rocks, but the positions we have, have numbers. Shoot, we have we have to shoot within arms length. Within arms length. You don't have to shoot off the rocks. You just got to be with arms length of the stakes, which the stakes are next to rocks. Okay. Gotcha. Sound good? Yep. I got you for six minutes. Once you guys cross the pink stake. And timer started. All right. I see a sign. Yep. Okay. Take that finger. All right, I got, uh, what's the biggest thing you can see? Uh, the... Oh, I got a big placard. Yeah, the placard. That's what I'm seeing. You see it already? Yeah, I told you, I called it out immediately. Right. 407 from back here. 407? Yeah, 1.8. 1.8. I don't like that. That'll do it. Right. All right, you up. Yeah, I'm up. Trigger cam's on. Yep, 1.8. Me a tenth left. 400. That's what I got. Observe's up, tenth left. That's a... I got a slight boil. I mean, 
I honestly, I just hold Wait, straight Wait, that's up. target 19. Okay, so from 19, yep. go up to the one o'clock. Yep. Right, you see this big rock face in front of us? Yeah. There's a clearing. Got it. I'm up. Sorry, that's on me. We're good. What do you want? Give me a tenth left. Impact! Next position. That was a little high. A little high? Yeah. I'll come down a tenth. No, just, just, just. Oh, that's good. Oh, Favor a little, it was just a half a tenth low from that dope. Half so, a tenth? Yeah, half a tenth. Same, same, same win. Good. You want a bag? I got one right here. You want a rear bag or are you good? Uh. Yeah, please. Three minutes, plenty of time. Same hold. Low. Oh, uh, full tenth low, I guess. Glasses up. We got two bags right here for you. You Straight up. Tenth right. That was, straight, that was straight up. Time, dude. Nice and easy. Check that pants. Same wind. Easy press. So we just finished up with our fifth stage of the day, and we are doing really well. Um, had just some elevation issues on the last one, and uh, before we start, you know, messing with Kestrels or whatever. I think we want to just make sure that it's a trend before we start making any adjustments. Uh, so we'll see how this stage goes. So you pay attention to our, our elevation, to make sure that we're, we're solid before making kind of any changes. We'll run hard data. So on that, communication is good. We're, we're finishing up with plenty of time uh, for each stage. So uh, this, the, from when I shot this two years ago, it's a complete, like, almost like 180 in terms of uh, finding target. Difficulty-wise, and even 
Um, you know, size of targets I think are pretty pretty fair. Uh, the conditions are not tricky, but um, they can definitely switchy. Uh, yeah, if you're not paying attention to it, they can definitely creep up on you. So a couple of guys are dropping, you know, shots on on the smaller targets that are not so wind forgiving. So it's important that one of us or whoever's on glasses on binos is paying attention to that mirage. Yeah, I think uh, uh, especially for this one, our fifth stage, sixth stage. This now? is stage six now. Yeah, <coughs> of my first NRL hunter. Um, I'm in, I'm impressed with it. Uh, I'm doing better than I thought. So, uh, like the last stage we came, from, <coughs> I think it was more a mindset thing for me because it started to get to me because we had cleaned everything up to this point. So we've cleaned everything, all these stages, except for one round on this last stage, and that's on me for dropping it in the final position, the last shot. And I think it was just like, I was like, we're doing too good. When's it gonna? When am I gonna screw it up? And it just kind of like got in my head, and I think that was it that caused it to happen. But overall, I think it's really great. Uh, this whole event. Um, we're gonna move on to the next event that's dropped around, that's done and over with. I'm moving forward from here. Yeah, just the process. Focus on the process. That's it. All right, guys, so you just watched the three stages that we did. Uh, I thought they went really well, taking our time, building positions, doing what we can. They did get a little bit more progressed in terms of needing to think outside the box with building a position versus the first stages that you guys have seen already, uh, at least in my opinion. Uh, I would say the one where I finally pulled that shot, uh, actually, I wasn't pulling a shot, but that's where I started to see the dope not really lining up. And you saw that on the final stage there of this video. And that's where you'll start to see in the next videos where unfortunately I start, started to get in my head a little bit there and I had to start subtracting a tenth from dope from that point on. But even reviewing the trigger cam footage of the same video you just watched, like uh, it, it's good that we had that trigger cam footage because I wasn't certain if maybe I pulled it, but looking at it, it broke perfectly center on that target as far as elevation wise goes. And so now I'm confident that I actually was having some data issues and it just showed in another stages that you'll see in the progressive videos from there. But you can see the varying sizes of targets between a giant T-Rex down to just a little prairie dog. So you might be able to open up on a T-Rex and go from, I mean, I'd have to look at the reticle, but all the mills for wind versus now you're like, okay, yeah, wind's fine. You go to that prairie dog and luck, luckily for us, there wasn't really much wind there. Uh, I think maybe a tenth or two, if I recall, that we were holding. Uh, but definitely makes you have to stay on top of it, transitioning from a big target to now a very unforgiving uh, wind call target. Yeah, the what I really enjoyed about these three stages was it, um, like Ryan was saying, made you think outside the box with regard to what positions you wanted to choose. And a lot of it was based off of natural terrain. And, you know, one thing about the NRL Hunter is they just show you, hey, this is the shooting stake that you need to be within one arm's reach uh, for. And so I, I know every competitor is thinking something differently in terms of what, how they want to skin that cat. Um, and, you know, we're big firm believers is if you can shoot prone, go prone. Yeah. Um, but there was definitely times where we're like, uh, I can't really see the target or, um, I'm too high of a prone. I'd rather just roll into a, a, a sitting position or a couple times I just shot off the rock versus, you know, getting down to the prone just because again, when you're moving to the prone, um, getting in and out of that position is a lot slower than just rolling into like a kneeling off of a rock. So yeah. that's just one of the things that you have to keep in mind as you guys are, you know, watching these videos, um, or if you guys are, you know, getting ready to, uh, do an NRL hunter is that kind of, uh, on the fly thinking of, okay, hey, do I want, do I need more stability at this moment or do I need to quickly get in and out of position based off of time that I've allowed myself based off of how quickly you're able to find targets? Yeah, there's definitely, uh, points where you have to think, pretty much chess, not checkers. Like if I knew I had four positions, how am I gonna approach all four of those positions? Because that might tell me how I wanna initiate shot one in position one. Because like if I know I'm gonna be setting up tripod for probably two or three of those positions, I'm probably just gonna deploy the tripod for the entirety of 
the stage for simplicity for the same reasons that Phil said. So it definitely made you think about it. You could see I, you could see my gears turning in the video, like how am I gonna approach this? Some of them were a little weird just based on the rock structure and having to stay within that one arm's distance from each uh, post. Yeah. But I think we did it okay, all things considered. Yeah, so uh, again, these three stages, uh, I think we, again, worked really well, even with that, uh, that one drop shot. But you'll see starting in the next episode where things start to kind of fall apart within that day yep. um, with regard to kind of our uh, communication and, again, just data not lining up. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed the series so far. And based off this route, this is probably going to be five or six different videos to get all 22 stages in. And, yeah, um, like we said in the last video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Help us out with uh, that algorithm. And then um, if you want to train with us, check out our in-person training uh, schedule, which all the links will be down below. And then we also have online training. So yeah. those links will also be down below. But thanks for watching. And until next time. Also, there is a new podcast that we just dropped debriefing this entire NRL series. So if you want to go check that out, you can go to the Modern Day Sniper podcast. It'll be episode 90. Episode 90. Yep. Yeah. So, thanks, all right, guys. guys. Thanks, guys. And keep a face on the gun.